Here's how you can enjoy better Wi-Fi everywhere, by connecting an Orbi Wi-Fi system to your existing Verizon Fios equipment. When installing Orbi with your Verizon Fios gateway, we recommend turning off the Wi-Fi on your gateway to eliminate any wireless interference. This video will show you first how to install your Orbi system and then how to turn off the Wi-Fi on your gateway for the best performance. To begin installation, first remove the power cord from your gateway. Connect the gateway to your Orbi router using the included Ethernet cable. It goes from the yellow Internet port on the back of the Orbi router to any of the Ethernet ports on the back of the gateway. And then reconnect power to your gateway. Next, power up the Orbi router. Your Orbi router will boot with a white light that will become solid during the rest of the setup. Now, take the Orbi satellite and place it somewhere central in your home and connect it to power. The satellite will start to pulse white for about a minute and a half while it establishes a secure connection to the router. If a secure connection is established, you will see a solid blue light for a few minutes and then it will turn off. If your connection between the satellite and the router is weak, you will see an amber light. Move the satellite slightly closer to the router. If the satellite is out of range, you will see magenta. Please move your satellite closer to the router. If you must move closer to the router, after powering up the satellite, you must press the sync buttons on the back of the router and the satellite. Get your mobile device. Connect to your Orbi wireless network using your phone settings. To do this, use the information found with your Orbi kit. Navigate to orbilogin.net and accept the agreement. Click Next. If your satellite is blinking white, Go ahead and click Next. Click on Setup. Set the administrator password. You must use this password when you need to make changes to your Orbi system. And select a couple of security questions. This will be useful if you forget your administrator's password. Now, enter a name for your wireless network and a password to secure it. Make note of the wireless information shown here. This is what you will need to connect to your Orbi system's wireless network from now on. Now, we will configure Orbi into AP mode using your computer. So grab your PC and connect to the wireless network you just configured. Enter the wireless password that you specified. Navigate to orbilogin.net in your browser and log in using your administrator's password. Click on Advanced. Then click on Advanced Setup. Click on Router AP Mode. Select AP Mode. Click on Apply and then OK. After a few moments, your PC will reconnect to the Orbi wireless network. Now, turn off the Wi-Fi network on your gateway to eliminate wireless interference. Open your browser and type 192.168.1.1 this will take you to the Verizon Fios web interface. If this is your first time accessing the system, you must update the username and password, as well as the time zone. This screen only appears on your first login, and most likely you will only see the next screen. When you are done, click OK, and then log in using your new credentials. Click on Wireless Settings, 
and then on basic security settings. Now turn wireless off. Scroll down and click on apply. The configuration is now complete. For more help with your Orbi Wi-Fi system, visit community.netgear.com.